Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Hope you enjoyed that little video at the start of this video. Um, that's gonna be the subject of today's lesson. Before we get into that, it's still 30% off all downloads from my website, so plenty of guitar lessons to get your teeth into. Uh, use code RGSAFE50, to, uh, sorry, RGSAFE30 to save 30% off at checkout. Okay, advert over, let's crack on with today's lesson. So what is it that we're doing here? Um, it's basically a picking pattern um, that includes uh, three note per string pentatonics, some, some left hand position shifts. Um, and it's based around two, two basic chords, chords one and five in, in A minor. Although I'm treating the five chord, I'm playing it more as a diminished pattern, but it's still based on the five chord, um, the E7 in A minor. Anyway, why don't we get straight to it and I'll explain exactly what's going on. So we're going to start here, fret 12 of the A. Okay, and this is where we get um, the three note per string pentatonics. Okay, so we're going to start here. That's our first shape. I'm using economy picking here to negotiate um, these uh, positions. Okay, that's the first beat of the next bar. Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So I'm nice and steady. Don't do what I did there and rush into it. Then we're going to position shift up to, with the index finger up to fret 17. Okay, and then we get a descending uh, pattern here. That's position one and two together. Okay, so let me do it nice and slowly from here. We've got to change positions with the index finger here. Shift. Shift. And descend and then we're going to slide down here to play fret 12 of the D shift shift descend slide so we're not picking I'm not picking that note it's up to you if you want to pick every note totally your prerogative okay and then the last three notes here on the A string and then we're going to move positions here. So this is chord number five. Okay. So let me play that first section again, nice and steady for you. Top stuff. Okay. Now we'll start from here. Okay, that's the first part. So see what I mean? It's more of a diminished thing. Which kind of gives us an E7 flat 9 sound. Okay, I won't go into the theory, theory side of it just, just now. Then we're going to shift positions with the index finger to, to where we've just been. We'll just move up a minor third. Very common for the diminished seventh kind of shape. Okay, this second part is a little bit more challenging because it, um, we get one note per string. Uh, it's kind of like a sweep. That kind of thing. Anyway, let me, let me do it from here. Shift. We'll do it 
once more without balls in it up. Shift. There we go. We're, we're back into position. So if I play it in its entirety, nice and steady. Shift. Shift, descend, slide. Now over the E7. Then back into it. Okay, that's the whole thing in its entirety. Uh, just a few tips here when I'm playing it up to speed. What I try and concentrate on is relaxing as much as possible. Um, you know, it's really, really important to do so that everything flows nicely. Because as soon as you start feeling tension creeping in, that's when problems start happening. And we want to avoid that at all costs. So what I do is actually keep it a really slow tempo. So. Uh, just do the first pattern first. Okay, and really try and concentrate on how much you're relaxing. And keep it accurate. Okay, then the second. Uh, there's a real temptation to sort of speed up when you're doing it. Try and resist that temptation if at all possible. Um, because, uh, because what, what I like to do is uh, make sure I concentrate on my breathing as I'm playing something like this. Uh, rather than <gasps> hold your breath and do it. If you hold your breath, seriously, you are going to tense up and it's going to be a, you know, a car crash. You, know? you do not want that. So this is the way that I do it. You know, that, there are different guitarists that approach it in, in different ways. You know, I've seen guitar players talk about just you know, play it as fast as you can and sod the mistakes and all the rest of it. You know, and if that works for them, that's fine. You know, there's lots of different ways to approach playing the guitar. Uh, but for me, I want to sort of retain that element of control. And uh, in order for me to ascertain that, uh, I have to be completely relaxed when I play. So what I do is keep it at a nice steady tempo for quite some time, rather than pushing the speed up, you know, too quickly, too soon. I try and avoid that. So once more. So breathing in and out. And exercising self-awareness as I'm playing it. Are my shoulders hunched up or am I nice and relaxed? That feels good. The other thing you want to do as well, rather than trying to play the whole thing in its entirety, like all the way through, do small chunks. You know, that's going to really help you to digest um, the whole uh, pattern. And then you can do little speed bursts. You know? You know, that kind of thing, that, that works really well. But again, making sure that you're not uh, using excess tension here. Okay, see what I mean? Then you can start putting it all together. <laughs> see what I mean? Uh, that's what I tend to do. So just a little recap, make sure you stay nice and relaxed. Make sure you're breathing properly. Do not hold your breath. Um, keep it at a slow tempo for quite some time until you feel that your control is increasing over what you play rather than pushing the speed and losing that control. Even though we have to test it, you know, it's OK to do that. Um, this is how I do it. I, I keep it at one constant speed and work on my um, self-awareness and, and control over what it is that I'm playing and, and increase that level of control rather than the speed. And the speed is kind of like a byproduct of that control. Um, anyway, I guess we should wrap up there. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I've got lots more stuff to come. I'm really enjoying 
getting back to doing these YouTube videos. You know, it's remarkable how, how much I, I miss it, you know, when I don't do it. Uh, but when I get back to it, it just feels great to do. So I've got loads of ideas that I want to share with you. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos coming real soon. So just another reminder, 30% off with the code RGSAVE50 from all downloads from my website. So it's a great way to support what I do. Anyway, I will leave you guys to it. Practice hard and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.